I'm curious, do you set career goals? Do you have some things in mind that you know you want to get out of your career at some point? Do they have dates attached to them? Have you got like a one year, five year plan? I don't know. Career goals is what I want to talk about today. I think it is super important to set goals for your career. I think that you need to know where you're heading and that having goals can help you make decisions when opportunities come up. You'll know whether to take them or not based on whether they fit your goals or not. The thing with goals though is that they should be allowed to change. When I was first getting started in the design industry, I had very different hopes and dreams for my career. I wanted to work at an agency, like an advertising agency. Saatchi and Saatchi was like my dream. I just thought that that would be like peak pinnacle design career if I could get a job there. Now though, I could not imagine working somewhere like that. I love working in-house, I love working in tech, and that's just not what I was aiming for when I started out my career. So if I stuck to the goal that I set at the very beginning, you could say I failed it. But I sure as heck don't feel like a failure. So even though that fancy agency career isn't what I'm aiming for anymore, I do like that I set it as a goal when I was just getting started with design. It helped me make decisions and it pushed me to be better because I knew that they would have a super high standard for hiring and it was good to have something to work towards. I always want to be moving in a forward direction and I always want to be aiming for something, even if that thing I'm aiming for changes. I think it's really healthy to have something that's driving you and pushing you to better yourself and better your skills. Right now I'm about seven years into a career as a professional designer and I've been thinking a lot lately about what my goals are for perhaps the next seven to ten years. Now, as opposed to when I was starting out, my goals don't revolve around working at a certain place or like having a certain client. Instead, they're about the kind of life that I want to lead because work and life are very intertwined for me and so my work and career goals are kind of like my life goals as well. I think the reason I've been reflecting on goals a lot lately is because I've realized that I've actually achieved one of the goals that I set a few years ago to be able to work when and where I want and to have that freedom. I always thought that I would have to achieve that goal by becoming a full-time freelancer and that's why I was like taking on projects here and there and building up a reputation. As it turned out, now I have a job at a remote company and I have all of that freedom and flexibility without having to go full-time freelance. So that is why I think you should set goals based on a certain state you want to be in rather than prescribing the exact elements that will go into achieving that. For example, if a few years ago I said, in three years time I want to be a full-time freelancer, I would have failed that goal. However, what I have achieved is the purpose and the reasoning behind why that was my goal, if that makes sense. I talked more about my approach to goal setting in this way in a video that I filmed at the very very end of 2017, so I'll link that on a card for you to go watch if you want to hear more about that. But Right now I just want to share a couple of my career goals with you and encourage you to set your own. One of the main goals I have for my career right now and something that I want you know, to be a part of my career is speaking at events about my work. I've been doing a lot of public speaking recently over the past few years. It's mostly been about YouTube though. I would really like to get to a state where I am invited to speak at design conferences about work that I've done, my design process and projects, things like that. That is what I'm aiming for and I think all of the public speaking that I'm doing at the moment is all great practice for that and I'm still working on all of the projects and coming up with like what my hook is, like what my design focused talk would be. The reason this is my goal is because I find so much inspiration in hearing from others process and going to design conferences, hearing people talk about their work and it's just opened my eyes over the years to many different ways of doing things, many different types of work and so I want to be contributing to that. I want to share my story and I want to be involved and like give back to the design community in that way. Another goal that I have that I really only started talking to people about quite recently is that eventually I want to write a book. As you'll know if you saw my video about it, I designed a book recently, it's called I Am A Blogger and it was a book for Seb the company that I work for, we rebranded by the way, it used to be called ConvertKit. Designing that book gave me a taste of what it's like to have a physical object with your name on it and so now I really want to write one as well so that I have a book that I've both designed and written. I don't know how much I should talk about it now but I really want the book to be like something that you give to people when they're wanting to get into a career in design or like it's the guidebook that you pick up when you think that this might be what you want to do to set you off on the right path and yeah 
encourage you, inspire you, and give you the tools that you need to be a successful designer. That's also kind of the aim of my videos, but yeah, it's still a work in progress taking over in my mind, but that is a goal that I have for my career, is to have written a book. Then the last goal that I'll share right now is one that I took off my goals list for a while, but I've put it back on because I've realized that there's, you know, many different ways that I could achieve it. Uh, and that is to be a leader, to be a design lead, or to have like a small team under me that I, I am leading. The reason I took this goal off my list for a while is because I realized that I don't really like working at big companies. I don't want to be a senior designer with, you know, some junior designers under me at a company that's a thousand people, and generally companies need to be bigger in order to require like you know multiple levels of design leadership so i thought that perhaps that's not something that i could aim for anymore lately though i realized that i was thinking a little bit too small with that and i was thinking a little bit too near term i think that leadership and leading a team is going to be a goal that i achieve many many years from now probably in like you know the latter half of my career and that's okay it still feels a bit weird to me to have a goal on my list that isn't something i'm actively you know, trying to achieve like right now because I feel like all of the other goals that I have for life, business, work, whatever are are things that I'm actively working on and like would, would love to happen tomorrow, for example. This one is a goal that I am not interested in right now, but I know it's something that I want out of my career as a whole eventually. So for example, if a role came up to lead a small design team at a company with a couple hundred people or whatever, I probably wouldn't be interested in it right now. Right now I'm really happy with where I am, I'm really happy to not have a team under me to think about, I just have to think about my own work and helping out, you know, my, my peers on, on my team. So this goal is just like sitting dormant, I know it's going to be something that I eventually start working on, and I like to think that at the moment I'm building up you know, like the people skills, the communication skills, that will eventually come in handy for leadership one day. So that is some of my career goals. As a whole, my goal for my career is just to do work that I love for companies that I believe in and have meaning in my work and a good work-life balance. But yeah, all of those little specifics that I talked about are things that go into making up that bigger goal. So, just like I asked at the start of this video, do you have goals for your career? I would love to hear about them down below in the comments if you felt like sharing them. Yeah, what are you aiming for? What are you working towards? What have you already achieved so far that you set as a goal earlier on in your career? Share them down below, let's have a chat. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to hear more just musings on design careers and you know design in general from me, then please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe as well because new videos about design come out every single week. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.